Good morning, people. Good morning. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. What it do? What it do? This is your boy Musa. Bring you that heat early in the morning. It's about 3.20 a.m. I'll bring you the heat early, uh, consistently. So please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You already know. You be left in that loop. Every time your boy drop videos. Yo. Cash App and PayPal is welcome. So it is what it is. Shout out to the black YouTube that's out there. Shit. Ticket TV. Carcino. Kevin Samuels. The League Attorney. Uh, Sister Dee Dee Pink Book Confessions. Hey, man. Hey, Vicky Dillard. Man, I just love that black YouTubers out there just doing the damn thing. You know us as black people, you know. <laughs> if one thing, we want to have credibility with the news. You know what I'm saying? So, if anything, we're going to filter out the bullshit and bring it straight to you. I mean, it is what it is, you know. No sugar coating. Keeping the chains moving, getting the first down, you feel me? And that's just like how we like to deliver our message, you know, straight to the point. Uh, no bullshitting, no chaser. I drank my liquor straight when I used to drink. I put that shit down, man. That shit ain't cool for a nigga, but nigga, just keep it straight, keep it real. You feel me? And, um,. One thing uh, I do know, as far as men and women, we rush um, we, 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 we make mirages out of our visions when we see out our optics, especially when we see an individual. We see a pretty young lady. Or oh, ladies, you might see a pretty, uh, well, a nice looking, handsome man. And you have these envisions and you have these thoughts. Oh, what I can do to this person, change them up, you know. They look so fine and the eye candy is so good. And, you know, I just, I, I can switch it up on him or her. I can do that. Well, y'all remember uh, some years ago, uh, I, I got some audio from Dr. Boyce Watkins, too. And that was copyright disclaimed too. Uh, Y'all remember the prisoner, uh, the guy that was in prison, and it went viral. They every, you know, they ladies was really just Jones for dude who looked like uh, a Michael Ely type individual. And you know, ladies were like, "Oh, oh, those eyes, those eyes! I just gotta give it to him." And they fell in love with dude who, who was in jail, you know, prison or whatnot. It was an eye candy thing. Well, now it's a female <laughs> out there doing the damn thing. And, you know, I, I caught this off Voice Watkins' uh, audio not too long ago, so I'm going to play some of this, and uh, we're going to take a look at her, man. Let me know what you think about the eye candy and what would you envision. So we're going to play some of this audio right quick. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let's rock and roll with it. So everybody remembers uh, the brother by the name of Jeremy Meeks, where all the women fell in love with him, and uh, he was locked up. Now he's a supermodel, if I'm not mistaken. Well, there's another woman that everybody's fallen in love with, and her name is Nyla Morell French. Nyla Morell French went viral because... Ooh, Nyla Morell French. Ooh, Miss French. Look at her, boy. Ooh. She in shape, young, but she got that background in the background. Y'all see that background? Y'all know that background, goddamn it. <laughs> but she fine though. She got that stance. Y'all know that Instagram stance y'all be having, like y'all got y'all pigeon toe. Y'all motherfuckers is not no goddamn pigeon toe. Y'all need to quit that shit. Apparently, she's the hottest, baddest baddie in prison. They call her Prison Bay. Well, here's some about Prison Bay that's kind of interesting, guys. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Nyla, if you look it up, Nyla's actually in jail because she stabbed, she stabbed a woman in the neck. And then she was arrested. Oh, Lord, have mercy. 
God, such a violent temper. Just imagine if she see an inappropriate text or something. Mm-mm. I don't want that smoke. You can't trust a big button and smile. That girl pours. Did several times for stealing. And uh, when she stabbed the woman in the neck, the woman's uh, lungs collapsed. And uh, her jugular vein was so injured that she had to go to the hospital. Now, I'm not here to tell you that uh, there aren't a lot of great uh, men and women that are on lockdown that you should give the opportunity to. We have a lot of good brothers and good sisters in prison. But what, the thing about it, guys, is um, when you talk about investing, uh, the biggest thing you'll ever invest is not your money. It is your life. It is uh, not in, in, in stocks and bonds. The investments, the biggest investments you'll ever make are in human beings. What you said? What you said, Dr. Boyce? Man, you got to have heaven on earth when you get off of work. Or when you face that, that them, them fierce forces out there, you got to have a, a, a sense of comfort and a, a place of peace and quietness and loving and your, your, your lady being feminine and catering to you while you provide and do everything you can to keep your head on earth. But, unfortunately, it's not that easy. And Lord, you got to do force time distance on everything you get. As my man Ticket TV would say, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And if you pick the wrong people in your life, if you go chase a big button and smile, or if you think she's a good woman just because she's cute, well, next thing you know, you got a crazy baby mama, or you got somebody that is uh, messing your life up, or even worse, you might have a girlfriend, a beautiful girlfriend who stabs you in the neck while you're sleeping. So... Uh, my point uh, at the end of the day is that you, in order to, talk, to build wealth and success and all the things you want, you got to think about who you put into your life and you don't just go chase somebody just because they're cute. Well, my name is Dr. Boyce Watkins. My, life, my wife is Dr. Alicia Watkins. And I Appreciate that, boys. No, don't go chase them motherfuckers because they look good. Nigga, that dog don't hunt. They don't hunt at all. Motherfucker be all fucked up trying to appease a motherfucker. Who don't even give a damn, man. Just with their incident ass attitude and crazy acting because they look good. Or they got some good hair. Ain't that some old sick shit? But that's, hey, that's the world we live in. And that's the eye candy that we will die for. Act a motherfucking fool for. But this is your boy, Musa. Ain't that heat, like I always do. You already know, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.